I've still got a bunch of these to burn. Is that a daily? No. Come on, grab the torch. Wait, what? Didn't I? There we go. What the hell? That was weird. Are they respawning? That shouldn't be. That definitely shouldn't be the case. Maybe you just have to be very somewhere very specific. Do we have to burn these too, maybe? Yeah. That was coincidence. What the hell? Alright, yeah. so is it like very specific? It must have a respawn. That's kind of yeah. dumb. It definitely should have not have a respawn of any kind. Of any kind. Um, which quest is this? Okay. Oh, I guess we just needed one of those. I thought we needed multiples. Alright, fair enough. I get both of them. As far as, like, what I'm going to show, I've kind of been, like, trying to decide between, you know, Wrong ability. Show more classes or so some higher end content. Like, you know, instances, PvP stuff. I definitely am not that interested in the PvP, to be honest. A little late on that spear to get the max damage. Yeah, you do have to wait for a three spawn. Ugh. We only need two more, though. It's no big deal. But uh, anyway, yeah. Because on one hand, showing multiple classes not only, well, gives you an idea of what the classes can do, but it also gives me a choice, like an opportunity. That, like, maybe I'll find it a class I find interesting. Than the Kung Fu Master, or that I like more. So it gives me the opportunity to try them all. But again, of course, it gives you the opportunity as well. The flip side is cover more, you know, leveling and some of the higher end content, so I get an idea what's going to be, what that is going to entail. Oh, wait, now we're done. We're done with the burning. Burninating the country so far. Oh, that, that combo didn't work so well. I thought, well, if I use the dragon churn? Dragon char, that puts on. Oh, it's only one ember. I thought it was more. Never mind. That's one of the more more damaging things to do right there, though. Is getting a few ember stack flaming fire, whatever the hell it is. Root them and then finish them off with the impact. Alright, we're gonna kill a lot of stuff later on. Kill something else. I want a little bit of room. I'm not going to kill everything because there's way too much shit. I don't know if the bomb, if the short fuse went off or not. Alright, so we need to kill these things. Spawn a creature. Thing that's got a long cooldown. There we go. Yeah. Shit, he's getting more frost on his ass. Alright. 
And that was also a daily. Let's go eat a dumpling. Please try again later. How about now? It takes too long to get a combat sometimes. But yeah, I, I'm definitely, you know, still struggling to remember, like, oh, okay, I should do this. I mean, I've, obviously just fighting normal trash mobs is not a big deal. But stuff like that where I'm in the middle of a fight and stuff could be refreshing. Uh, opportunities that might not normally be there are popping up. Then I kind of screw that up. God, do you think they put enough of these in there? Holy shit. rooted on top of the fire and short fuse ready to blow so again like that's what i like there's just so many little combinations it's not like one or two strings that you you um follow through the hell told you the dream drift drives people nuts this place is lousy with deranged warriors but since those plague mites ate all my dummies we're gonna have to practice frost prison on these folks Frost Prison is great when you're fighting multiple enemies. You can instantly immobilize one of them to divide and conquer. Remember, you have to be in Frost Mode to use Frost Prison, so no burning. It's been a while since we practiced together. Alright, it's been like 15 minutes. Use Frost Palm or Whirlwind. Obviously, normally it does not respawn this quickly. I'm just waiting for it. Respawn here sometime today. There we go. That is pretty sexy, though. You're not bad for a first timer. You're worthy of the Hong Moon clan. You'll meet stronger opponents in the future, but if you combine strength with others, you can defeat them. Don't forget what you've learned today and practice it. We uh, we do, but I'm not going to be able to babysit you all the time. You're going to have to get out there and meet people. You know what? Never mind. Let's focus on our training. I'm a bit tired, so we've done for the day. I'll send you a letter when I'm ready to see you again. When can I see you again? And we'll go ahead and... Get the instant delivery fee of three copper. I like how an actual bird brings you the quest reward. That's pretty neat. Nice. Uh, Prop. All right. So not a bad session. We've gotten from one to thirteen. Let me see how far we are from fourteen. Yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this series so far. I mean, I still think there's a bit less than... Because beta technically hasn't started. This is still alpha when you're watching this. <laughs> I think next week might be beta. I'm not 100% sure. But, um... Wait, where's that? Oh, okay. I was like, man, I hope... I didn't miss something in that cave. But... Yeah, I think this might be the last weekend for Alpha, but our char characters are carrying over to Beta. And again, remember, if you want in on the Beta, and I'm not, like, don't think I'm just trying to hawk the product here. I don't have any kind of affiliation or uh, I don't make any money if you buy it. But uh, there's a Founders Club packs. Like, like I said, the price on the base one isn't bad. I think it's like 25 or 30 bucks, and you still get guaranteed access to the Beta. The other two are a little pricey. Like they're like seventy and a hundred and twenty ish. Don't quote me on those prices. Uh, if you check the link below my description, I should have a uh, link to them, and you can you know decide for yourself if it's worth it to you. Those are a little bit pricey though. Right, level thirteen, nice. Greeting, stranger. If you're looking to place an order for charcoal, just mosey on up and talk to the head foreman. He'll get you situated. God. He's like weird combo of cowboy and southern redneck. This badge, where, where did you get this? This badge belonged to my brother, Basso. 
He and some other coalition boys left to harvest the Dream Drift a couple weeks back and never came home. I knew something awful must have happened. Vassal's never gone more than three days without checking in. But you're telling me the whole crew got turned into those things? That's too horrible for words. But you? You brought peace to my brother and the others. I'm in your debt, friend. Anything you need, I'm your man. Just say the word. Jin Soyun? Never heard of the lass. Wait, hold on. She dress all in black, real mean looking tall drink of water. God, Strange man. circus folk type entourage. This this is how Koreans think Americans thought, probably. Fair enough. We have our own uh, perceptions, I suppose. And it is funny, so that's all that matters. It's funny. Some of the boys have spotted her snooping around the forest for the past several weeks. You don't think she's the reason these monsters in the Dream Drift started acting up? North. Whenever they'd finish up with their creepy weirdness, they'd pack up and fly north. Every single time. Sorry, it's in my Free eye. Are they looking? Stay away from the lady in black. Yeah, I'm not gonna take the random word of a stranger to divert my major quest, but thanks. Oh, there you are. What have you learned about Jin Sa-yun from the Char Coalition? North, eh? Hmm, if I was a betting man, I'd say that means Jin Sa-yun is in the Cinderlands Desert. We are not leaving. The Cinderlands Desert is too large to search alone. I have several spies in that region. They'll keep an eye out for this lady in black, Jin Sa-yun. In the meantime, you should stay right here in the Gloom Draws. Jin Sa-yun made frequent trips here. Yes? It's possible she may return. Do not lose hope. It may take days or even weeks to find a new lead on Jin Sa-yun. Be patient. Excellent. I will look into those Cinderlands contacts. Good luck. I'll check back in a few days. Chira, today is your lucky day. I think we can help one another with our respective prop. You are buddies with the local charcoal kingpins, and I happen to know a source a lot closer than the Cinderlands who can help you find Jin Soyun. You remember those bombs I made at the Black Ram South Anchor? The giant explosion in the jungle? Pretty impressive, right? Wrong. They were weak. Terrible. Awful. No good. Pathetic. That explosion should have singed off our eyebrows. It didn't. Why? The bombs didn't contain flame grass powder. Trouble is, there's only one group in the world that knows the secret of refining flame grass. The Char Coalition. And well, they don't like me very much. But I hear they love you. You get me some flame grass powder and I'll put you in contact with my buddy Pundehe in Jade Stone Village. If Jin Soyun passed through there, Pun Dehe would know. You can find flame grass all over the Gloom Dross. Just pick some and ask the Char Coalition folks to refine it for you. Simple, simple, simple. Even if they refuse, I'll still put you in touch with Pun Dehe because I'm a nice guy. You have nothing to lose. Come on. It's been too long since I've blown something up. I need this. No more bombs? I'll show them. <laughs> God. You're in danger to yourself and others. Go grab these quests. <laughs> Takes a while for the models to load, as you can see sometimes. I would get. He wants me to get spider eggs. Ever for him. The lunatics and the gloom dross. I hate that you had to like wait for yourself to stop moving entirely to talk to somebody. So a lot of times I walk to somebody like this and hit F. And of course it worked at the time to make it look like a total asshole. But a lot of times it doesn't. So you have to like wait and like, oh wait, it didn't work. So you hit F again. Minor problem, but still. It's the little things. Little things mean a lot. Alright, so we don't have to kill the spiders per se. We just need their eggs. I think I recall the eggs around the trees. But wherever the hell am I? Sprint is. There's the grass, but that's somebody else is already getting it. Yeah, we, kill yeah, we gotta go. Yes, everything should have bombs on them. There's one a class that uses bombs. Oh wow, I see hit. I'm surprised. Gotta be taken away. Yeah. 
It wasn't a bomb, it was just the thing. Alright. I have noticed this though, like if there's people out, a lot of times it can be a real pain in the ass to find what you need for a quest. Especially if it's like that kind of stuff. Items that spawn. It could be a pain to get it. Really? You want to grab it or not? Or there we go. Yes. It doesn't really matter if you cast a spell, but it helps me do more damage. So I'll take it. I know it pulls you toward, pulls them towards you. Because I kind of want it, like, in that situation, I want them to not move. Because they'll lose, like, a, da a tick of damage. Oh, oh, well. I really think the dude dropped back now. Because it's not right up. Sword. I'm looking for the egg still. I remember them being a pain to find last time. If I were a spider, why I, where'd I lay eggs? Oh, hey! Spider! You guys definitely start to get more hit points. Have to be a little bit more careful. Damn it, where are those damn eggs? No, okay. Over here, not apparently. These guys. <laughs> Thanks, Cat, for right clicking. She loves to bang her. Tail against the mouse. Which is the mini errant clicks. She always looks aloof, like she doesn't realize she's doing it, but I know that's a bunch of bullshit. I love that that little draws the dragon on the ground, that's cool as hell. Hide the Bari. Burning fire. My brain's starting to slow down because I've been playing a long time. So, like, I'm, I'm not really doing good in my. getting my combos together. Ah, come on, where's these damn spider eggs? Oh, there's some. Yeah. Barely got that fifth ember on him. Oh, it, it wore off faster than I thought it was going to. Alright. Steal the hell out of some spider eggs. I mean, I don't have any problem with spiders, but I definitely don't want to run around and steal their eggs. It seems like a really bad idea. Especially giant spiders. Laying their giant spider eggs. Maybe they'd hide some back here. Yeah, I think you hide them like under that tree or something, maybe? This wouldn't be so obvious. I don't know. Silly me. Need to educate these spiders on properly protecting their young. Let's go and kill some of these. Maybe we can get some respawn over there on that, uh... Nice. Because <laughs> you easily build back up the focus 
from using the frost test. Frost bomb. Rebuilding up Ember. I don't know why I keep picking these things up. Seriously, stop. Oh, shit. There's eggs. Fuck. Drop it. <sighs> One more. I thought it. There's. No, oh, hey! How you doing? I like to see what you Short fuse didn't do anyone near as much damage as I was hoping. Okay, there's an egg. Damn it. <laughs> Keep forgetting that frost doesn't last, or that uh, frost does not last anywhere near as long. You gotta keep that in mind if I'm gonna be going for that route. Need to. Alright, that's done, I think. Yeah. That's us done with spider eggs. I definitely had to stop and heal more than with other classes, too. But if I would remember my rotations a little bit better, it wouldn't be as big of a problem. But again, my brain's starting to check out. Like, I've been playing too long. It's starting to get late. I'm tired. Excuses all over the place. I would need to kill more of these, okay? Damn it, stop picking these up. They don't do anything. That's not really what meant to hit. That's definitely not what it is. See, that's not going to seem to last. Don't try to block me. It ain't going to work. Answer your phone. I need to also be using the dragon churl thing as well to build up em embers. Now, of course, it takes five focus, so you got to kind of keep that in mind. But it does more damage, so... What's this one? Oh, flame grass. There's one. I forgot about this place entirely. Now, given how many quests we have, we should get a whole level when we go back. It's not going to happen. But I sure wish it would. Because I kind of wanted to get to at least 15. That's been sort of my cutoff point, even though my Kung Fu Master is only 10. I, I'm really struggling if I want to level up another character or start You've come so far in your training <laughs> ready for more read the letter i don't quite understand like when it decides to do that like it's not when i leveled but i finished that one quest or i finished the rec prerequisite for the quest then it was like oh hey ah. kind of weird anyway i know i'm not making a hell of a lot of sense <laughs> and i apologize we need more lunatics. We need more lunatics. Yeah, we need to like freeze them up. Play moral. Play moral. Yeah. There we go. Which I should be, of course, using a uh, dragon whirl. Or dragon charl is what I meant to say. Should be using dragon charl. I mean. Dragon Whirl to, to uh, root them and do more damage because that's just faster. So we need four more lunatics. 
Oh, we still do need the sprites. I keep thinking we only needed like two or three of these for some bizarre ass reason. That's much faster than building it up with the frozen palm. Frost palm, blazing palm. I don't know why blazing is such a weird thing to Instead of like fiery or flame or hot. What else we got around? Well, if we can get to it before our stamina runs out. Again, I should have flame troll or dragon troll, which is the that number two ability there. It costs five focus, but does good damage in a in a line, and draws a cool dragon on the ground. I mean, come on, why would you not use this ability? <laughs> All right, two more lunatics. Because then I probably wouldn't even need to bring up to four Ember. Because that does so much more damage than... Than... Blazing Palm, right? Yeah. See? I finally got it. I mean, I'm going to forget it again, but... Alright. Let's go ahead and turn these quests in. Because the other ones are kind of far off. Quest yeah. first. I'm surprised you're still in the dross. God, I thought you guy. had a mean lady to go settle up with. Whatever you need, you're practically one of us now. Just name it. Oh, flame grass powder. You sure, friend? That stuff is super dangerous. Ha Jung Wang is a walking fire hazard. We blackballed him years ago after he almost burnt down the village. Is the flame grass powder necessary for your mission? Seeing like a obviously. Asian looking man with a hardcore cowboy accent and vocabulary and mannerisms is very off putting. Okie dokie. Not in Trust a negative me. way. Just make sure Do that guess, firebug is nowhere near our Damn forest it. when he goes and blows himself up, you hear? One very small sack of flame grass powder coming up. We'll deliver it to Ha Jung Wang ourselves and give him a safety lecture he'll probably just ignore. Good luck, friend. Ooh. We got a necklace stage one. So it looks like you kind of do the same thing here. Oh, and it kind of floats. Where you can evolve it. Uh, I think you need, like, other, like, things in that slot. So what does it do? Uh, increases piercing, critical damage, and attack power. Not by a whole lot, but... Better than what we had before, which was yeah. all zeros across the board. Let's go give this guy these damn spider eggs that he was too cowardly to get himself. I mean, I'm definitely not in a hurry to do it, but damn. Oh, yes. yes. Sweet. We leveled. Nice. You see the special letter from Master Hall. Oh, right, that's the surveys. So I'll tell you what I'll do. Now, well, let's grab this quest. It's a daily, daily, daily quest. We had some chests, didn't we? Yeah, let's check a look at those. See what we got. Potion, great. Thanks. I don't know why it's going into overflow. Sometimes that happens. Like it's, it says it's going into overflow, but yet. I've got space. You do have overflow inventory somewhere. It pops up down here. So that this way if you get a quest item or something, it doesn't just go into the nowhere. Sorry. Oh, God. But, yeah, sometimes it'll come up when it really shouldn't. I don't quite understand. Um, 
What is this? Exchange with a piece of, equ of equipment or outfit. I have no idea how this thing works. But, um, yeah, what I'll do is I'll do some inventory management and stuff. Uh, I do want to get this guy up a little bit in levels. He's pretty fun so far. He looks pretty badass, too. Look at him. Look at all angry. See, look, his hair's a little purple. Anyway, thank you guys for, ah, uh, damn it, for watching. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, which is everyone, because I'm here by myself on Twitch, make sure to leave comments. Let me know what you think of this series. Um, opinions on if you'd like to see me, like, pick a class, probably the Kung Fu Master, and level them versus playing more classes so you can get ideas of what the various classes look like. Just let me know. In uh, any further classes, I can tell you right now, we're just going to skip all dialogue. If it's voiced, I don't care. We're skipping it just to get through a little faster. What the? You're taking yourself to the gun show. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.